Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs, and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Saxon Knight, and we are back with some more Fallout 76 shenanigans. So let's hop back to it. So we were on the trail of a fire breather from Charleston. I forget exactly why he decided to come here, because uh, he did not end up living for long. I'm going to guess once he got here, because if I remember correctly, he's strung up in the torture cage at the top of the tower. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, and to get to the top of the tower, we are working to assist a crazy... I think it was Miss Nanny. Yeah, I, I, I had a problem with that last time of what was the, the, the female uh, Mr. Handy or Mr. Gutsy. And I think it is Miss Nanny Robot. Um, Cherie is, uh, is a good example of that. Fall for, but uh, yeah, a nandy. Oh, uh, love landmines, love them so much. Um, yeah, we are helping a crazed. Oh, there is a lot of landmines here. <laughs> I'll watch my step. Okay, third time's charm now. We are helping a crazed uh, raider, Miss Nanny Bot, uh, named Rose, to. Uh, set up some radio network before she lets us talk to her so yeah the uh, last episode we collected uh two uh of the three parts to help her re-establish her radio network and we are on to the last one making our way down the mountain very pleasant mountain valley view here let's see how much food has just rotted Okay, I mean, the cooked food is held. Okay, alright. I figured some of the, the wild fruits I picked up would have rotted by now. I have no idea at what rate and at what frequency that uh, food rots in this game, but I have a lot of it, so obviously it does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh lord, yeah, so um, fun fact about me, I used to work uh, basically as a exotic plant uh, maintenance technician uh, for a state part service where I live. <laughs> uh, there, there, there was an invasive fern called uh, the Chinese sword fern um, that I spent many long summer days um, you know, dealing with and managing and spraying pesticides on, so <laughs> uh, God, out in the boonies of the world. Um, yeah, so I have fun memories of that summer, but whenever I see one of the main invasives that uh, I dealt with on the job, but you know, I get my, my Vietnam PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> uh, I have a bit of a sad, yeah, well, I mean, one of the ferns up on that ridge kind of reminded me. I don't think I explained that. <laughs> uh, right, we'll see if we got any enemies here. Some robots. Do I not have a range? It feels like I should have a range. A funny story to tell after we secure this part. <laughs> Not so funny, more or less a sad story. Okay, I think guns blazing is the best way. Seems to be all there was. This does look like a uh, army delivery or army checkpoint from Fallout 4, so. Uh, it's definitely not a false alarm. Probably stick with the 308. Where is this, Mr. Gutsy? Hope that there's a Tinker's Workbench back at the uh, top of the well. 
Yeah, so uh, I was working with my senior biologist one day out in the woods, um, you know, just to see... Uh, I forget exactly what plant we were working on, but we were surveying a new area of the park, and, uh, you know, obviously I heard about how much of a problem that, you know, <laughs> invasives were to the environment. I mean, I'm, we, we, we've all heard of the, the funny ones, like... Uh, humanity trying to play god and every time it fails when they introduce one animal to deal with another animal and the new animal just becomes a new problem so i'm like well sir it's like you know in the state we are is there any plan to you know one day get rid of all the invasives like return it to complete natural habitat and natural species and uh yeah dude was straight up at me it was like uh yeah in current day modern america yeah there's a, we simply survived the invasives. <laughs> there, there, there is no long-term plans to to see them gone, and we've pretty much given up on that. So, uh, and then we get to more moral dilemmas around that. Uh, <laughs> you know, moral dilemmas. You know, uh, invasive plants shouldn't it be evil. Let's see. All right, so it's directing me towards the closest one. So a little bit of a run, maybe over to this player's base by the looks of it. Um, as, as part of my environmental science degree, um, you had to take a environmental ethics course, and, you know, I thought it was going to be a lot of, a whole lot of stuff about nothing, pretty much. Um, a lot of, you know, just two-inch deep philosophical thought, but no, it actually got pretty interesting, especially on the topic of invasives. Um, you know, just thinking about it, in my mind, you know, over the years, environments... Well, over the centuries, yeah, you know, I mean, since the dawn of time, environments have been changing and shifting. Uh, this is, yeah, staying nowhere near the, like, the climate change topic. It's related, but not near that. Um, you know, s plants have gone extinct on their own accord, and, you know, new ones come in, and, you know, the population uh, levels of, you know, plants and animals shifts all the time. Um, you know... Obviously, we view invasives as bad because we'd like to preserve our natural plants and natural wildlife. But, I mean, <laughs> just because the invasives were brought over here by human negligence, I mean, does that, does that give us the right to, you know, play, <laughs> play God, I guess, um, with, with what stays and what goes in the environment? I mean, isn't that what kind of, you know, got us into the problem, trying to, you know, artificially manipulate things? Uh, yeah, so, so you can get into a really interesting discussion on, you know, are, <laughs> I mean, aren't invasives just, you know, the new environment, you know? Um, you know, they, they made their way here and through biological, uh, you know, superiority to the native plants they have you know made the environment their own and you know who are we as humans to determine what is the right and incorrect um environment <laughs> is this someone's camp god dang well, that's mighty fancy son hope you don't mind me using your bench Quest items. Yep, so I'll flip you there. Okay, where, where do I have to run off to now? I swear, Rose. <laughs> I forget why you even had me doing this, but you are having me run all over the place. <laughs> I gotta go to that freaking radio array? Jesus. Okay. Now, this is quite the extensive camp someone has. Wonder was able to load in. Zibiquith Farm. Great place to have a farm. Okay, do not kill the harmless Brahmin and steal. Oh, what, the, what in the. <laughs> Rad toads. Are you dead? I, I, are you, I can't tell if you're dead or not. Wait, where? Where are they? Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Okay. 
Okay. I'll be tracking down some toads on my trip over here. I have never seen these guys before. Oh, God. Oh, I hate looking at the back of this thing. God, why am I still looking? Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I am I am definitely a person with uh, extreme trypophobia, you know, <laughs> especially when it comes to, like, skin disease and skin markings. Ugh, it just makes my, my skin crawl. And that certainly did not, uh, did not help it too much. I'm right, back on the right track. Okay. Way we go. There's a Yao Gwai out back this way. Hmm. definitely a nice refreshing change of pace from the absolute constant <laughs> storm that is uh, hell divers <laughs> having a bit of being able to run around nice and peaceful like for a little while and have more spread out combat encounters I think this is a ghoul related area if I remember correctly or maybe not oh, hello fox more smaller animals they must have added in. Oh, hello. Are you gonna bite me? Okay. You're cool, I'm cool. Where oh where is this radio tower? What is go oh oh hello hello Diseased son of Fluffy. What the heck? Oh. Lord, oh lord, oh lord. Okay, we got six ten packs. We can make this work. Um, yeah, okay, let's use up our lasers. Ah, oh, why is everything here? Fluffy. There we go. Fusion cells. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's not too, too bad. I remember the Yaogwai being at the radio tower the last time, so... Maybe that was not the Yaogwai I was looking for. Alright. Now, how am I trying... Curious. I think we might have an encampment of some kind right here. Or maybe just a bridge. Oh, well, it ain't no secret tunnel, but it will get us to where we need to be going. Very rickety looking bridge. You know, I hate to tell it to you, Rose, but under any other condition. Yeah, let's, let's pop down there so we can loot. That radio tower looks like it's out of business, but... <laughs> For some reason, in the Fallout universe, it is not. So who knows? Oh, screwdriver and a pen! Alright. Keep on trucking. Oh boy, let me tell you, that summer I spent working uh, invasives. <laughs> it was, it was one of those situations where it was like, if I can go back and do it all over again, and um, I guess I'll yeah, say this here, um, I, I I am uh, a member of uh, the U.S. National Guard. Um, if I can go back here, because I was doing this while I was in college, um, so I summer classes, I had drill, um, and I was, uh, trying to make this job work, um, which was not very sustainable, <laughs> because, like, eight hours of, like, back-breaking labor in a very humid environment, um, 
and then having to go home and study for tests. Ugh, it was rough. It was rough. But if I could go do it. Oh, explosion. Okay, I think this is super mutant territory here, so we'll see. Alright, let's, let's take the loot out of the way. I could go back and do it all over again. I didn't have to deal with the military. I didn't have to deal with school. That would have been a job I could have done for life. Like, just working out in the woods every day. Hard physical labor. Uh, that, I don't know. Really tickled me fancy. Tickled me fancy. <laughs> I don't know what pseudo-Irish accent I'm trying to go for there, but oh, I would not say accents. Um, more along the of pseudo Irish vernacular I was trying to go for there but you know it is what it is all right how much period space do we got left all right we got some poundage all right well if I don't have to fight too many supremes that's a positive in my books I right, slap that baby right on in there oh, I don't like the first oh, okay yeah now we gotta go back in oh maybe we'll see I don't see us having the ability to climb the tower, so. Do, do, do. I will take all of your things, good sir. And some rat poison. Why? Well, why not? Alright, array control terminal. Um, is it? Yeah, probably auxiliary. mad woman on the world <laughs> well time to go face the consequences of my actions even though I would really like to probably kill Rose I'm sure she is an essential NPC we gotta love those Bethesda essential NPCs am I right folks <laughs> all right well, let's finally go see what happened to our poor fire breather friend yeah like that God, I wish they had this level of ammo drop rate in, like, Fallout 4 survival mode when I was doing that run through. Because, like, this is me not even trying to, um, you know, go out of my way to craft and create more ammo. And I'm already almost sitting at freaking 1,308 rounds. It's like, good lord. <laughs> Where I am just surviving on freaking scraps in Fallout 4. Alright, Mr. Madigan. Where are you? Oh, other side. Okay, I'm getting pretty low on storage space, so unless something is pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of unrefined gunpowder. Hello, Rose. All right, what happened to you? Oh, I see now. You're here about that guy, huh? Well, good luck getting anything out of him. He's been dead a while. Well, that's nice. I came up here to negotiate with my raider associates. They strung him up and left him to die after convincing him to sell. Hmm. I didn't put him there. That was the previous. You no, know, I keep meaning to find a maid servant. Who knows what goes through their dopey responder brains? Can you imagine going through like 100% chem free? Ugh. 
Anyway, you're probably looking for that scorch detector uplink thingamajig he was trying. Seems real handy. That and it I does. Know where it is, but I'm not ready yet. Oh, well, okay. All right. You you know where the the the, the MacGuffin is, but how am I supposed to gain the trust? I'm not a monster. I scrounged up some old junk to give you as a reward. Okay, okay. Some, some good caps. Let's see what else we got. Come on, give me those sweet, sweet items. Stem pack right away, purified fusion. Okay, De death. What is a death tombo? Alright, we'll level up. We are still hoping for that sneak perk one of these days, so. Did we get sneak? God, I could. S okay, that's that's slightly annoying me, but oh well. We got a full action boy. Um, honestly, might as well get through hiker. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, through hiker is there. Okay. Oh, hey, uh, Alright, what do you got for me? Have something to say to you. So. Do I want to help you? No, but the story's going to make me, so. I'm game. So, the old band of raiders, the chap, if I'm ever going to rebuild a raider mm. army, we both win. I get answers, and you get a new tool. I'm just saying, a good way for us to, you know, ingratiate ourselves to uh, the woman of the hour. I'd say, sublimating ourselves might do the trick. Then you say best day ever? <laughs> Tell you what, you help me out and you can consider yourself Heck a yeah. favorite member of my Raider gang. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, I very much believe she's uh, bullshitting us there, but, you know... Not doing an evil playthrough, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, tell me about these tactics. That was my personal favorite, Karma. No, not that new age bullshit. I'm sorry, my cutthroat friends figured out. I'm I also like Fury spells from Skyrim. Yeah. Karma dart. <laughs> not joking. I really will. All right, add a Karma syringe bear mod to Rose's syringe. Alright, probably gonna have to go find a weapons workbench. I never was a fan of um, the Syringer. Oh. I can see just about anything with my robot eyes from those viewfinders. And lucky you, since you help me tap into the oh, Okay, here's all the freaking scorch. Sneaking. I don't have any stealth perks. Okay, since when do the Scorch throw frag grenades? That's fun. We got space. Let's get some critical stuff. It's supposed to do twenty five percent more damage to scorched, but it does not do like that. Some get some. All right, let's go pick up my 5,000 10 millimeter shells the game's about to give me now. <laughs> yeah, well, if we don't have to clear this whole area, that is fine. Let's go get that drug attached. Hopefully, no buddy sneaks up on little old me. All right, um, switch to modify Rose's Syringer Karma. Some karma, it's time to see it in action. The 
there's a mean old Mama Yagwai I like to call. Actually, strike that. I lost track of her a while back. So just make it so there's one less Yagwai to worry about. I don't care who it is. If you can't find a Yagwai, find something else that's tough so you can see the karma in action. Hmm. Is this just like go out and wander until you find somewhere to shoot anything? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's still got the quest marker on it, so. Unless I was just leading us back outside to the uh, outside world. Alright, 76, any day now. I know, I know. It sounds crazy to make a beast like that tougher and nastier. But once karma wears off, it'll be as weak as a newborn kitten. That's when you finish it off. Okay. <laughs> Assume it's got some areas on the map to look for. Uh, Yao Guai. Yao Guai. Yao Guai. It's the map of every Yao Guai <laughs> in the freaking area. Oh, alright. Let's check out that syringer. Not lucky, I got 12. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time that we have for this episode. Um, I thank you very much for tuning back in. I do appreciate your patronage, as always. If you are feeling so inclined, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It does help with the motivation to keep making these videos, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.